never know about flying in the north because this is behind the scenes. What's going on right now is there's one dock, two airplanes. We got a twin otter that's just firing up, and I got the 185 out here. So we've we're doing good northern pilot etiquette. So we decided to leave uh, the dock, leave the dock to them, and here we are. So you must be uh, important because uh, they've just brought up, brought you in in a twin otter. Check up on us. Welcome to Hoytus Lake. Really good you could come up here. Ron Barcy is the principal senior mining specialist for Golder Associates. His company has been hired to do a full assessment on the impact of mining at Hoytus Lake. So the mistakes of the past are never repeated. In my career, I've done lots of work on uh, abandoned mines or old mines or decommissioning mines, things like that. I've had a lot of opportunities to see the mistakes that we've made in the past, in the old days of mining. And that's what we're trying to do here, different at Hoytus Lake here, is to be able to avoid those mistakes and think ahead real, real early on. You gotta be clear though and understand that there is always some small amount of residual risk. But you gotta come up with an engineering solution that makes sure that you keep that residual risk to the smallest thing you can get to. I don't know if you've heard of this concept of uh, sustainable development or sustainability. It's basically, if we had a piece of paper here now, I would draw three circles that overlap. The first circle would be social, the second would be environmental, and the next would be economic. Sustainable development, it's where the three circles overlap. So, in other words, if you are going to succeed at having a green mine, you have to make sure that you've got a balance with the social capacity like you've talked to Chief Victor Fern here. You also have to have a balance with the economics. In other words, make sure you've got employment or opportunities for economic development with your neighbors, whatever. Same with environmental. If you don't have a, a profitable mine, you're not going to have the money to be able to spend on doing good, solid environmental work on the property.